Hello and welcome back to another Muck Metro video. Today we are going to be talking about 3D printing again. So it's been a while since I made a video about 3D printing these lift doors I made. So I thought I'd come back to it and today we're going to be talking about my lift doors again and how they've progressed since then and the future of 3D printing within the model railways hobby. So first we're going to be talking about my lift doors. So you may have seen the video which is going to be in the top right right now which is about how I 3D printed some lift doors using a CAD software and I ended up 3D printing them and yeah so that's pretty much it. Now there's one thing I never actually mentioned in the video. Now those went to scale all, oh, I completely messed up the print and they were completely the wrong size and that's why I never actually in the video had them up against any form of model. Since then though I've re 3D printed them and done them to what I think is a better finish than the last ones as you can see on screen now. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad to be honest. You can see a few of the lines which the 3D printer has brought up because it goes across. And um, you may also realise that above the button there's another like, ex like bit poking out. And that was originally going to be the button but I decided to move it down. So I painted it down a bit. So yeah, that's what's happened with the lift door. So basically the ones you saw in that video aren't the real ones I'm using now. And they're completely the wrong scale. So yeah. That's that side of things. Now on to the future of 3D printing model railways. In the video you will see a railway hut I made using a CAD software and also the lift doors in a few seconds. The future looks bright for 3D printing models. With the massive decrease in the price of 3D printers in recent years, they have become such a more accessible tool with more people being able to afford them. They are to make pretty much anything at such an affordable price at the current price of standard filament. All you need to do is add a light sanding and a lick of paint to create such a good looking model that it's a completely different price point if you were to buy it pre-made from a retail shop for example. Especially if you are someone who isn't very good at scratch building like me, then 3D printing is such a good equivalent. The only downside is that sometimes you need to learn how to use the CAD software to create items for printing, which can be difficult from starting from scratch, however when you learn how it is so beneficial. So the future looks bright for 3D printing and for model railways too. So I wonder how it will look in, for example, 10 years time, what sort of tools we are using. More laser cutters, 3D printers, all that stuff. I think so, maybe. I, I It's going to get to that point where a standard tool for, 3D, for model railways would be a 3D printer, along with your other standard tools. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is quite a short one, but I hope you did enjoy it. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.